Want to help support Juno Cigars? Two great ways to do it, smokeagoinshop.com and on Patreon. So click those links in the description below and help support this great cigar channel. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Joe at Juno Cigars back for another review here in the month of October. And we are returning to the realm of Ro uh, Noel Rojas and Rojas Cigars and their new iteration of the Street Tacos line. The first Street Tacos blend was a Street Tacos Barbacoa. I reviewed that last year. I absolutely love that cigar. And this new follow-up is the Street Tacos Carnitas. Uh, big difference between this one and the Barbacoa as opposed to the Sumatra wrapper that's on this one. This one has an Ecuadorian Connecticut shade wrapper and it looks very pretty. For those of you wondering, Carnitas is in Hispanic cuisine uh, slow braised pork that you put on tortillas. Uh, it's got some nice citrus notes. It's got a green chili sausage you put on it. It's delicious. Figure out how to make carnitas and do it for yourself and thank me later. So let's get into the cigar. This is a 6x50 box press torpedo or uh, straight parejo. Toro stick 6x50. It's got the familiar street tacos logo on the band and this time it says carnitas as opposed to the barbacoa. Very nice looking wrapper leaf on the outside very even coloring some veins but very very tight tight nearly invisible seams got a semi-closed foot here nice double cap on the top nice little soft sheen on the wrapper leaf as well pre lat aromas we have a very nice smooth honey cream Natural tobacco and raisin off of the body. Off of the foot, we have more natural tobacco and more cream. Specs on this one, we got Nicaraguan long fillers and binder with the aforementioned Ecuadorian Connecticut shade wrapper leaf on the outside. Let's go ahead and get this one cut and check out the cold draw. Cold draw does feel a little tight, but I'm sure with this semi-closed foot that has something to do with it. Got some white bread notes, honey, and raisin. Very similar to the cold draw, or to the pre light aromas, rather. There's some cedar coming off there as well. All right, let's go ahead and start toasting. See what this one's all about. See what we can find out. Off the first puff, decent draw, a little on the snug side, but I got a good amount of smoke output. Very, very creamy, buttery, oily sort of textures. Kind of a combination of those two. Almost syrupy, actually, in the first few puffs. There's some nice pistachio and uh, cashew nuttiness coming through, honey sweetness, and lots of cream. Mm. There are some sweet woody notes coming through on the end there as well. All right, let this go until I get a little further into the first third. I'll see you then. All right, a little over 10 minutes in, well into the first third. Got a pretty good burn line here. Nice ribbed ash. Draw has opened up a little bit, getting a nice smoke output, still mild to medium, very creamy texture. And the flavors are starting to wake up a little bit and give me a little bit more depth. We got some lime, sweet lime citrus coming through. It's almost like lime juice mixed with cream. Don't know if that's a thing, but that's kind of what I'm getting. A lot of cream notes on this. Um, we're getting some kind of like a, a cinnamon toast, but it's very, very subtle. It's almost like a, it's actually more akin to like toast with honey on it. I'm not really sure how much the cinnamon is really there. Um, it Hints of it. I mean, very, very subtle on the draw. And that nuttiness is really building in a very nice, balanced manner. Uh, it almost reminds me of Honey Nut Cheerios in milk. Um, but it's still 
kind of developing the flavors at this point. On the retrohale, hmm, got some great cedar and lime zest, little bits of white pepper. And is that, what is that, cardamom in there? Or coriander, I'm gonna say coriander. Interesting, I like that. Oh man, tasting pretty good, smoking pretty good. We'll let this go until they get about midway through the cigar. I'll see you then. All right, we are about 35 minutes in, halfway through the cigar. Got a nice burn line, good ash. Just ashed it a couple minutes ago, just for the second time. Flavors have gotten very, very interesting and a little bit more complex. We're getting some nice floral sweetness, some sweet fragrant cedar. Nuttiness is still very much there in a form of pistachio and cashew still. Getting some cardamom and little bits of white pepper, but most notably, I'm getting this agave nectar sweetness, a butterscotch hard candy, and this incredible vanilla cream that is just fantastic. Love this draw. This is a fantastic earlier in the day sort of flavor that I would love to have with coffee. Uh, I'm not drinking coffee right now. I'm not really drinking anything, uh, but it is something that I would definitely see going great with a morning cup of coffee, especially with all those incredibly sweet and creamy nuances coming through on the drop. On the retrohale. Bright lime zest. Very, very fragrant cedar. Little bits of nuttiness, kind of like nut shells. More vanilla, more florals. Just outstanding. This middle part of the cigar is really starting to kick it up a notch. All right, let this go until I get towards the end of the stick. I will see you then. All right, we are an hour, 15 minutes in, down to the very end. Did have to do one burn touch up on us here in the last third. Only time I had to do one. So not a bad construction. Draw has been really, really good in this back half. Uh, started off a little on the tight side, still fine. I was still okay with it. Just wish it was a little looser. And then my wish was granted. Draw is basically perfect right now. Uh, in this back part of the cigar, a lot more cedar and the cream just doesn't quit. Lots of vanilla cream, almost bordering on like vanilla custard, which is fantastic. The uh, sweetness level is more, it's kind of reminding me of like burnt sugar, kind of reminiscent of some creme brulee. Kind of dig that. And the florals are still very much there. They've been kind of changing places on which flavors were more prominent in the forefront. Sometimes it was the floral, sometimes it was the cedar, sometimes it was the nuttiness. But the cream slash custard was kind of always kind of there in the middle, and I really, really enjoyed it. On the retrohale right now. Just this incredible fragrant cedar and some lime zest. Wow, that lime has really been there a lot in the retrohale, and I really do dig it. No Rojas in my book, at least so far, can do no wrong. So check them out when you get a chance because he is really bringing some great blends to the table. Really enjoyable. Thank you very much for joining me for this review. As always, don't forget to subscribe. Click the icon in the bottom right corner if you're watching on YouTube. If you're watching on Rumble, just look for the subscribe button towards the top right of the screen. And uh, please check me out on Instagram. And I am also a contributor for Cigar Public. Check those sites out because there's a lot of other uh, material and content on both of those sites that are worth checking out. I have a lot of written reviews on Instagram and a lot of reviews and uh, articles on Cigar Public. And there's a lot of other great reviews and articles in Cigar Public besides mine. Thank you again. Hope you're having a great October. I'm having a good one so far. Until next time, smoke a good one.